All righty. We are now going to... Uh, can you play in this game? I will play through as a psychopath. Which means that I'm going to be in the dialogue options, giving the most mean or stupid answers. And also, um, ending the life of every single character I meet. I will have no allies in this game. Where did I go? What's up? How you doing? The one feature I enjoy in uh, Fallout 36 is how if you kill three you know, multiple people at the same time, you can just hold down the square and take off from all the bodies so you don't have to go one by one. But all right. Oh, let me check my volume. Yeah, this is good. All right. All right, 150 meters. Wow, look at that big moon. Oh, hold on for one second just to make sure. Let's see. Yeah, we are in graphics mode. I definitely want to gra get graphics mode for sure. Okay. All right. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Hmm, I'm just passing through. My pod crashed in the hills back there. How do you know I'm not a marauder? You talk too pretty for a marauder. Huh? Most of them just grunt and yell. <laughs> Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Yeah. Hmm, let's see. I never got your name, I'm Juggler Razzy. Do the pay to chat with strangers? Nice to meet you, I'm Alex Hawthorne, Captain of the Unreliable. Is that why you've got a pair of farm cards? I guess I'll do the lie. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. <laughs> We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Hmm, which one is the most negative or goofy one to say? Hmm. That seems like the meanest one. Junior in humor. Fancy title for a grave digger. Hey, I earned that fancy title. Huh? Started off a lowly junior gravesite builder, then junior interment engineer. <laughs> oh, and I was a junior burial assistant for a time. Let's see. Pretty old to be a junior or anything. Actually, yeah, let's do this one. That's rude. The rate I've been working, I'm bound to earn a promotion. Must be about 50, 60 burials away from associated humor. Hmm. Let's see. Who do I talk about? Power regulator. Make your own money. Hmm. Definitely not the junior in humor. That's hmm? for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Let's see, depends on the work. I do what I want. 
You're asking the wrong person. I'm not interested. I do what I want. Got a knack for being discreet, like? Mm -hmm. There's money to be made, as long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. <laughs> Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Hmm. You want me to collect what's owed to you? You're making people pay for their own graves. Why can't you collect these fees yourself? Hmm. Let's see. Quotas mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know. Hmm. All right. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, <coughs> and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Mm -hmm. Conrad's in a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy. I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one. Uh, all my life. Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Couldn't tell you. No, I mean, I'm contractually prohibited from saying anything that might reflect poorly on Spacer's choice. Ah, avoid it. Shouldn't have said that either. <laughs> Look, forget I said anything. All right. Well, if you're gonna go headhunting, talk to Constable Reyes back in town. She pays for marauders by the finger. Oh no, they are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, the company's gonna duck my pay. Hmm? Now I had been planning to unalive everybody, but for the XP, I'll do his uh, little mission first and then I'll end them. Get the XP first, right? Let's do the uh, side mission first. Okay. Hmm. Real quick load. Is there a way to? Put away my weapon? I guess not. Seems rude to be pointing at everybody. Spacer's choice takes care of its own. Oh, closest one. Here we go. Please don't touch anything. 
Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. No, thank you. <laughs> That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's <laughs> Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. <laughs> whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Okay, looking to prepare my ship. Send something to collect dues. Prepare my remains for what? Burial. In the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. Okay. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. I mean, you're broke. I don't understand a word you said. Eh? I mean... But I can't possibly pay my gravesite fees. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Hmm. Let's see. With what? My own blood? Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Hmm. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Not a bad idea, but I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Hmm. All right. Much obliged. <clears throat> Let's see if the game here. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Didn't nobody ever tell you to never impress yourself between a man and a ring? <laughs> Which is, by the way, a normal and healthy mode of expression. Alrighty, let's see. Hmm. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Uh I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelance for me, I could really use the help. 
Let's see, how can hell? Why do you think your freelance? Depends what you need. You can't afford me. I'll scratch something together for you. Sell off some of my sundry at Moreau's if I have to. Just hear me out. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. I'll do what I can. Okay, why can't you just find medicine? I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly <laughs> prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. Mm. Come on now. Everything they think you don't look over a day over 90. Tell myself the same thing every morning. You've seen those young workers at the cannery? What with their unbent spines and pristine knee joints? I can't compete with that. You will not find any guards within sight of that old hmm. place. Marauders, on the other hand. It is a reality of life in the Vale. Grass is brown, sky is gray, marauders are outside the walls. So you'll do it then? You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, law, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. <clears throat> Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. All right. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Hmm. Let's see. Where do you need it? Hmm. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Let me worry about it. That's not shady at all. Have it your way. I'll do that just because it seems like it'll give me more XP points. Alright. Here's a summary. Yep. A lot of sick people in this town. I don't have the medicine. <clears throat> Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape. So I'm reaching out to you. Let's see. I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. All right. That's all I can ask of you. Okay, so 30 is the next closest goal post. Hold on, I think. Let's see. So side quest. And collect. Long tomorrow. Retrieve the medicine. Hmm. Let me What if I talk to him again? What can I do for you? He just saw me. Hmm. A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. 
Vicar Maximilian, <coughs> from the OSI, here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing balm upon a feverish head. Or so you'd expect. You'll find him in our local church, probably neglecting his duties. He said duties. He doesn't seem to like us much. The vicar has not been with us long, and in his relatively short tenure in Edgewater, gives off the distinct whiff of superiority. Now, I cannot believe nobody viewed this stream yet. So I'm just gonna pause for a moment. This is just for people watching the replay. I'm gonna turn my video camera, maybe, maybe that'll attract some attention. So, uh. This will only take a moment. Let's see here. Alright. And we're going to turn on the camera now. Just take a few moments. Okay. And let's see. Let's see here. <clears throat> All right, a little green blanket over my bed so bed doesn't show up. Just it's lights a little bit because I use green lights under green screen. Okay, let's see. up with that that there we go there we go I think that's good all right I've got a little green on the skin there so let's fix that and, uh, hmm. I think this is Fine. A little spot there. Um, oops, wrong one. Wrong light. That's front light. We want to do the back light. Hmm. <laughs> Um, I think we'll go with this this setting. 
All right. Back to the game. All righty then. All right. Hmm, this little, this little guy. All right. Now. Hmm. Uh, so the green dots there, even though we didn't do his mission yet. Interesting. So let's do this one. Retrieve cache of medicine. All right. And that's outside. Up every now and then. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Where are we going? Hold on. Why was the green? Why was the green town outside? Okay. Something. For a second, I don't like these uh, dark settings. Gamma. It like that. All right, let's do it. Guy out silently. The mm, candle. Is that explosion? I think it is. Check it out. Is it? Yes, sir. Alright. I don't know what's, what the frame rate in this game. I have a performance and it's still a little bit choppy.
<clears throat> the old salt tuna two bits off. Two more for those. You have gotten a weapon modification. Install mods, add a workbench to upgrade your weapons, change, change the damage type, add a new scope, improve and rate fire, etc. So I think I definitely would upgrade my uh <coughs> my uh character. Okay. Let's check some things out here. Alright, um compare. Let's see. Okay, so this is better speed. Actually, no. It's, the damage is better about this one. Alright, so, uh. So these are fine. What about body armor? Compare. Okay, so that's level 4. So these Oh, hold on now. So actually right control armor. Huh, so it's on the right side, the left is the new one. Oh. 
So the left is the new one. Hmm. Oh. Okay, compare. Oh, I can't compare those? Hmm. Whoa, that's what I want. All right, and do this one again. So actually, this is, I pushed the wrong button. So, trip blade spacer's choice. Yeah, it's so weird that it's on the right side. Okay, so that's actually better. 73. Alright, so we want that one actually. Oh, that goofed up. Okay. All right, now I got the hang of that. Okay. Buddy. Hey, you are. Hey. medicine. Low damage drops are effective against heavy armor. Hmm. Okay.
I see a flash in armor, which I think would mean my armor is damaged. So let's check that out. Armor. Okay. Oh, that's only a three anyway, so we want... Level four. Ooh, level nine. Hello. That one. Was there a way to sort these? Oh, hold on. Ah, name and sort. So I think I should go there with the camera. Yeah, so now I can put flip sort. What does this do? Hmm. So. So let's see, four, four. Hmm. Forty-three. Hmm. Hold. Hmm. Oh, okay. So value, weight, value, and, and two rate ratio, armor rating. Okay. But what's left button do then? Nothing. Okay. I got it now. So the tap is the type of rating, which I'm going to go by armor rating. And then the hold is just to make it high to low. Okay. All right. Let's do that same thing with uh, with the guns. Okay, here we go. See, so, yeah, we definitely want to go for this this guy. Yeah. <clears throat> and now, see the upgrade. Skills. Hmm. Yeah, let me look at inventory. What's this? This would be a long gun, right? Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, we got ten points available. All right. Hmm. So many choices. Instead of spreading them out, let's let's focus on now. <clears throat> Some of these, so we're not. Who am I kidding? We're not going to do too many melee. So ranged. Mm, defense. Mm, 
armor rating. Uh, that's only when I'm using a melee. Nope. The lock pick sounds like it would be a really good thing to do. Mount. Okay, these I don't have to care about because I'm never using companion much for anything. All right, so we're gonna go for. We're gonna go for f five. In these one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna go for lock picking skills. I think we're gonna focus on those two first. Okay. Okay. Apply. Anti Cleo knows friends make everything better. Companion abilities. Oh, to continue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh! Try different locations to see the different effects. Hit the chest to produce different effects by using different weapons. Mm. Alright. I've been playing Fallout so long, I'm used to being able to pick everything up, so it's a little weird not being able to pick up almost everything. Hmm. Vending machine discovered. So what's this about? Vending machines offer a variety of items to purchase, most of, mostly from one company. A hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Restricted items on a vendor can only be purchased when you have high enough reputation with an associated faction. Oh, wow. I'm not going to have any of that because I'm killing everybody. All the factions. <laughs> um, hmm. So let's see. First... Let's go by value to weight ratio. Let's see, sell for 13. Sell for 7. Hmm. Hmm, I can't do it by type. So, oh, I can't sell yet. Just buy and sell items. Okay, okay. Um, just not gonna buy anything yet. Run something.
So there it is. How the hell do I get in there? Oh shit. What? Hmm. <clears throat> I need more bits or lock picks. <clears throat> I think I might just for now on max out the lock picking skill. This feast your eyes on the great food Mente Queen, sovereign of her nest, imported from the wilds of Terra One to throw and excite the imagination. Right. 
Key card and golden lockers back up to blah blah blah. We're not gonna read all these, but Okay. Okay, let's see here, actually. Looks like we didn't go here yet. Let's do a quick peruse of our inventory. Okay, so we got pistol, got assault rifle, light machine gun, and we're gonna do the shotgun. Alright. And I wonder if we can fast travel. So Long tomorrow, long tomorrow, long tomorrow. Medicine.
I've got some time. What's up? Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Hmm. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Of a law, a marauder's in my domicile. Mm. Oh, Lord, <laughs> please don't eat me. Hand I over your bitch. Box and chalk stones. You don't want none of that. Oh, wait, it's just you. Yours killed me with fright. At least I know I ain't hallucinating. What up? Hmm. Hold on, I just want to save the game here. I just want to make sure that that doesn't give him the medicine, because I just, I just want to tell him you have it. Mingle, go try the cantina. Hmm? Let's see it. Don't keep us waiting. Let's see. I don't know what that means. Is that some sort of medical condition? Is my plague getting worse or something? <clears throat> You're right, it is. Can't blame a mercenary for trying to make a profit. I've got some time. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Here, something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make what? a habit of consorting with smuggler types. Okay. Let's see. It's not that simple. You want my silence, you're going to have to buy it. Never, that's harsh. At least leave me something to remember me by. I'm curious. Who are you going to give the medicine to? I'll put that one. Intimidate. And there it is. The reason I don't like depending on a criminal. <laughs> I kept a little contingency fee in case you decided to shake me down. Okay. Somebody deserving. Silas on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? Okay.
What's up? I'm a psychopath in this version of the game playthrough. Hey! Get back here. Get back here. Alright. Oh, you know what? Actually, we don't want to waste bullets on these guys. Let's see. We don't need a uh, this big boy. Let's do this one. goodies. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> Don't do this! Don't hurt me! Get back her. Oh, uh, I think I soiled myself. <laughs> around here the next mission. Oh, botched. Okay. Yep, we will reload that. We're going to load it before we kill everybody. Because, uh... Alright. Like, or collect our XP and, and we'll get these guys later. Okay. I've got some time. Yep. All right. Thanks. Yep. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Mm -hmm. Here, something for your trouble. Yep. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. Rude. And there it is. The reason I don't like depending on a criminal. I kept a little contingency fee in case you decided to shake me down. All right, let's get our stuff. Hmm, what's this? Yeah, it's like I... I don't know if I should wait. I need you to explain this The grease monkey, Argo. Let's see what this does. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. Seems we've got a guest. What's up? Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have walked you at the gates myself. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I must say. Wearing a marauder's outfit is in very poor taste. I do wish you'd show your uniform a little more respect. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Ship needs repairs. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. 
I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. Huh? I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Hmm. You're the first stranger to wander into town in an age. Scripture tells us that nothing happens without reason. Let's see. Let's pretend I'm interested. Oh, you're a man of faith, Reed. I do not attend the good vicar's sermons as often as I should, but yes, I am a scientician, born and raised. And my mm. faith tells me that hard work and difficulty fortify our spirit. <laughs> This is hard work, I ask of you, but there is a reward at the end of it. Let's see. Okay. The geothermal plant was built by our owners, Spacer's Choice. Lit up the whole Vale once upon a time. Most of the Vale is now abandoned. All that power is going to waste. Let's see. <laughs> I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Mm, what a surprise, I never would have guessed. Let's see. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Good law, no, I don't want you <laughs> killing anyone, least of all them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. You know what? I'm thinking too much. This is the psychopath stream. Let's see. Of course, I understand. All right. Completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want a guide. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented. And may prove useful for you. Are you sure? I imagine Miss Holcomb will make a reliable companion. She knows her way around the veil. Oh, sure. I mean, you got your own business and all, so I'm, I'm sure you... Sorry. I'll just be in my garage fixing stuff. <clears throat> I do. You may find Miss Holcomb at her garage once she and I are done talking. <laughs> I want you to know I appreciate what you're doing for us, even if you are a stranger. Best of luck to you. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. I'm taking everybody out. <laughs> What's up? How you doing? It's my planet now. I ain't got no allies. It's my planet. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Anything to pick up? All right. Hmm. 
I wonder if that's gonna mess up the grave. Grave one. Oh, a grave matter. Oh. Silas looked ripped to ask you to collect the payments to people Edgeward hate you and what you did. Silas is no interest in the help collecting grapes like these. Uh, all right. Alright. Yep. I already beat the main story. So I'm just playing through as the psychopath. So I'm just, uh, I'm gonna take everybody out. Oh, you want some? You want some? Who else wants some? Who else wants some? Alright. That's what I thought. Hmm. Okay. What?
Oh, really? now so let's see armor oops All right, let's see. Perks. We'll do half and half. One, two, four, five. Hmm. Actually, 
Let's do one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Check out the water graphics. Okay. And let's see, journal. Up completed. So, divert power from geothermal plant. Workers are abandoned the town of Edgewater. Read town of Edgewater. Mr. Reader wants to foresee there's a return home. Need you upset things right in Helicon, but we need transportation first. Hmm. Let's see what this one is. Oh, that's Blinken. Means it's damaged, so let's trade that for. Oops. Let's trade that for. This one. Okay. Hmm, what's this? So those are mines. Well, how the hell do I get in there? Investigating. 
Or I just keep it the way I want it to. Alright. Oh, out of bullets. Hmm. Sound. Hmm. Heavy ammo. Light ammo. Ah. Uh, I need uh the rifle one. Damn it. Okay, so let's see. Sort by value. Hmm. Hmm. Sealed. Oh shit. 
Your passcode. Okay. God damn it. There we go. Okay, now comes the power. Now what? I thought that electric would be good for mechanical centuries. Makes sense. Ok. 
Okay, now what? Terminating security Okay, now what? Hmm. There we go. Oh, you want some? Oopsies. What's up? How you doing? How you doing?
Yep, armor's blinking. Eat. Oh, hello, 16? Oh, what? I can't... Why does it change every time? <laughs> Captain, so. I detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. <laughs> I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. <laughs> what can I do for you, Captain? Do you know how to install a power regulator? <clears throat> Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders.
Hmm. So that's kind of cool. <coughs> so I think ah, I like all of them though. But, uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh, let's look at the reputation. <laughs> Neutral. Exerters. Revering. Spacer's Choice. Repulsed. <laughs> ah. Nice. Ticket installed. I mean, trophy. Ah! Hmm. Workbench. Oh, let's see. Prepare upgrade, modify your present armor. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Install mod. Oh, no mods for this one. All right. What about this? Okay. Oh. Huh. I'll be. What about armor? Oh, I see. Hmm. Tinker. What's that do? Tinker. Do you want Tinker the light pistol? It will cost 50 bits. Damage will go up. Hmm. What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. From Dr. Phineas Wells. 
Based on my initial calculations of Dr. Wells' hmm? personality, that seems highly unlikely. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural hmm? drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Get to the point. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Let's see. Fine. Why do I need the nav key? Slow down. Or I could put a couple light years between me and Halcon. Without a skip drive, good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. Hmm. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kalkelly. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. All right. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the holographic shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the captain's quarters. Oh, really? Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud... It has limits. First general... Very simply... All right. Ha 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 ha! The beauty is they don't expect it. The shroud is the only one of its kind. We humans have a tendency to overlook the unexpected. Activate the disguise, walk past someone. What do they see? A figure dressed like a fellow employee. Don't act odd. They won't focus on you. All right. Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Uh, what else? In moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw <clears throat> their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Okay. Excellent. I'll come. And remember, don't trust the board. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them... Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Okay.
Forged under pressure, the decorative skull is called from the volcanic rock. Sometimes when faced with the choice, the only proper response is to annihilate the people asking you to make it. What's this? <sighs> Unread message. Oh, I forgot to mention the previous message. Silly me, I'm only your copy of my favorite serial, the Space Fetch. Da, 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 da. Okay. For watching the replay, you can pause and read. I'm just kind of speed reading. All right, we're not gonna. Hmm. Okay. Ah, by reading that, I can kind of little, little side missions. See what sleep does. Hmm. All right. Resting in the bag is relaxing. Moves time forward. Well, I missed it. All right now, what? So before I leave, journal. Acquire the science weapon on Groundbreaker. Let's do that first. Hmm. Hmm. Aha, Groundbreaker. There we go. Welcome to the system map. You know, we know how maps work. After the groundbreaker. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I mean the move for entertainment, gotta meet the talk. I like to learn about the colony. What's this? Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Why are obtuse angles so depressed? Because they are never right. Now playing a Spacer's Choice mm. advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually mm. obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. I have lots of minutes, many minutes, unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on a lost hope? Oh, don't try to change the subject. As the organics say, I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> because I can't dream, you know. Hmm. What do you think about? When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. Fortunately for you, I am similarly programmed to protect the ship's captain and crew. Hmm. Over the last captain... Because I'm being a jerk. Not for a lack of trying. Captain Hawthorne did not like to listen to my suggestions. Hmm? In that way, he was a lot like you. As you may be aware, 
Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Let's see. Are there other captains? We both now met Alex. So about something else. Let's see. Oh, I know you are not the same Captain Alex Hawthorne who died in Emerald Vale due to excessive internal and external bleeding. I have required you to assume Hawthorne's identity in order to sync your commands to my interpretation protocols. Hmm. I've since registered you as the captain of the Unreliable. You're welcome to continue lying about your identity if you wish, but I know the truth. Let's see, you're a very strange computer. Don't sass me, D. Have you been other captains? So in this game, I'm doing all I the negative. Output levels accordingly. Hmm. If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. How can I be of assistance? What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Let's see, I guess we'll learn about everything. Ah, uh, yes. As Dr. Wells is a wanted outlaw, he built his laboratory into an asteroid. Orbital destinations can be challenging to land on. His more so than most. There is a bounty on his head, worth a remarkably high reward of it. Shall I engage the laser weapon system? I shall happily comply with your order, just as soon as we have a laser weapon system. The outlaw scientist known as Dr. Phineas V. Wells has taken a measure of precautions to make the lab undetectable to those hunting him. Even knowing the location, my systems resist my orders to go where I instruct them. Of course. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? We are cleared to dock with the Groundbreaker, if that's your desired destination. If we're going there, please be sure all docking forms have been filed in triplicate and fees have been paid. The Mardettes take their docking laws quite seriously. I can, yes. Uh. Let me add that to my list of 1,435,498 tasks I am simultaneously executing in order to run our ship. Order does not compute. Uh. Nevertheless, I will endeavor to execute my current and future tasks without blip. The Groundbreaker was Halcyon's original colony ship. It has since been repurposed as a service station in the Lagrange point of the system. Freighters often deliver or pick up goods from the Groundbreaker en route to other destinations. The city ship hosts an array of cargo bays, factories, housing sections, and more. Many of Halcyon's companies maintain office spaces with stationed representatives in what is considered a truly neutral territory within the system. I have filed the required docking forms in triplicate, and fees have been paid. How can I be of assistance? Hmm. What part of the co- Where in Terra 2? Edgewater is the sparkling county seat of Emerald Vale, or it was when first built. Since then, neglect and time have worn away her shiny veneer. The town is near the coordinates where Captain Hawthorne died. It would not be unfortunate if something, like, say, a plague, were to wipe Emerald Vale from the face of the planet. You mean the ones who did not answer my distress call with medical assistance, but instead came to issue my injured captain a parking ticket? 
I'm sure they are wonderful mm. humans who don't deserve to be wiped out by starvation or a devastating plague. Since you diverted power to the deserters, the botanical lab is thriving. However, Emerald Vale's cannery shut down, leading to the total collapse of Edgewater's population. Thank you, Captain. Mm. Of course. What part of the Where? Of course. Where in Monarch? Ah, Monarch. The armpit of the Halcyon system. Her last functioning port town is Stellar Bay. Well, that is if you don't count Sublight's smuggler's port at Fallbrook. I believe it has something to do with the planet being an uninhabitable wilderness and a lawless land with no corporate presence. You may wish to survey the residents in Stellar Bay for additional data points. Its sublight run for the purpose of shipping contraband, and before you ask, I don't know the coordinates, so I can't dock us there. Of course. What part of the... Where in my... Warning. All colonists are urged to reconsider travel to Cascadia due to infestation of mantasaurs and mm -hmm. risk of indefinite detention or death. There are no people aside from marauders in Cascadia. There is the local report is that you will very likely die if you leave Cascadia's landing pad. This is one of those times where you say one word but really mean another, isn't it? I suppose you would find an environment like this fun. Behind you. All right, well, I'm taking a short break since nobody watched me on Twitch. Hey, somebody is watching now. Wow, I missed that. All right, so hey, I was going to switch to YouTube, but we'll keep on Twitch for a little bit. All right, but uh, yeah, I'm playing Psychopathic uh, Method. I mean, Psychopath Method. Basically, I'm like killing everybody. But, uh, first let's save the game here. Alright. So, before I kill anybody here, let's, uh, check out... Oh. Let's see. Alright, we would like to get some bullets. Never gonna have... How many bullets? Oh, I'm running out of money now. Hmm. Oh, that's it. Identification, please. Everybody's got an ID. Oh, let me guess. You, uh... Left it in your other pants? <laughs> I hear that one a lot. All right. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Well, let me apologize in advance. I'm mm -hmm. about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Oh, thank the law. I could use a diversion. Tell me more, then. Really sell it to me. Let's see. Do this one. Please. You can do better than that. Huh? Where's the drama? I like where this is headed. What happened to this uh, vile <laughs> kidnapper?
You must feel terrific. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Not in the least. <laughs> Good story, though. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. Hmm. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. Hmm. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. All right, let's see. Hmm. You take the starch out of them, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Ah, a handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Huh? Of course. What am I to you but the guy who's got his eye on your ship? Is there anything else I can help you with? Let's see. Hmm. Look for someone named Ladies. Gladys. Fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your huh? left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Hmm. <laughs> He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Let's see. All right, it's enough of that. Thing. And most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder, straight through. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera. You need anything else? Be seeing you. Hmm. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled hmm. advertisement for the following story. So how? The board would like to. Oh, hold on. There's multiple points now. Venture. So let's see. Speak lies, blah blah blah. Side crest. Uh, Alright, let's do this little side quest first. How do we get there though? Rizzo's mock apple cider. A hard cider for a hard Rizzo's knock you out bar. I will get to the killing soon, but I figure I ah, get a little XP. So it says combo of uh, dealing missions and get XP. Oh, can't get that one. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Here we go. Let's see. Whatever I want. Now what? Oh, my mistake. Yeah, get out of here, punk. Everybody's my enemy in this game. Psychopath style. Mm 
Hey! Let's see, skills. Hmm. Not doing much of that. Let's try to max out the guns. Ah, I do what? I think it's some lockpick. I, I could get into some stuff though, so let's do. Uh, let's max this out. Let's max out the lockpicking and hacking. So, yep, do that. Let's see, perks, it's good. Mm, walk speed, sprint speed, weapon. Mm, what's this? Oh! Um, 100% additional ammo, that, that could be nice. Uh, Cause I'm low on ammo. Oh, so many choices. Well, let's do that. Let's do that. All right. I know she's in there, Mburu. You can't keep me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. What seems to be the problem? You? Not without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. Supplies are hard to come by out here. Hmm. We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane uh, items as bandages and antibiotics, uh, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs, and that's simply not tenable. Take care. So. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See, Umfuru, we could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Hmm. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Let's see. Wait, you don't even like her? Hmm. All right. You say that like it's weird. Like I said, Jesse did me a favor and now I owe her one. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid, that's all. Trying to pick all the most jerk responses or weird ones. Let's see, maybe I can look, just normal. I'll do this just so guest. I can... Uh... If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital okay. bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Okay. Hmm. Aha. Hmm. So, is there... How do I use that cloak? Hmm. Hmm. Snare Trooper. Yes. Hmm. 
How the hell do I use that cloak thing? Where's the cloak? I know I had the cloak somewhere. Hmm. Okay, what's it say? And there's a cloak. Option. Hmm. Oh, maybe when I walk the door to it. Damn, how do you use the goddamn cloak? Um. Hmm. Well, I'll be son of a bitch. And now I'm supposed to use the cloak, goddammit. Hmm, well, let's see what happens if I walk in. What's that noise? Put him down! Oh, oh. no. We're gonna do it the hard way? Alright. Hey! What was that? Shotgun. Do I have a shotgun? Hmm. Let's see. Bye. Damage rating. Hmm. Yeah, it's better. Um, yeah, we'll stick with this. Yep. I better take a look. What's up, buddy? You like that? Everybody's going down. All right. <laughs> That's how we do it. I missed the Fallout 76 where you just uh, can collect everything from all the right by enemies at one time. All right. All righty. Ow. We will, um, forget about doing it the quiet way. Ah, uh, hello there. Ah, uh, so that's what the, that's how we did the shroud. I guess it just happens automatically. Hmm. Holographic disguise activated. Okay, so it's automatic. Alright. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I have a time limit too. Oopsies. Hmm. 
nothing in here. So, there's a green dot, but I can't talk to them. Well, that's weird. Hmm. Hey, I want to talk to you. Oh, if you're going to be rude. I don't want to die. Too bad. Wes good my G. Hey, how's it going? So I beat this game years ago, and I'm just doing a re replay, and I'm just like killing everybody. I have no friends in this game. <laughs> I want to see what it does <laughs> to play through. Great stream, my friend. I am the anti-hero. What's up, chef? Sorry, guys. But you gotta do what you gotta do. It is death. Our oh, 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 oh. content is similar. Definitely dropping a follow. Hey, <laughs> thanks. I thought I saw something, they say. Yeah. You better take a look, huh? What could it be? Oop. Oh, oh, oh! Gotta heal, gotta heal. It's hard taking on 20 enemies at one time. Hey! I'm gonna take a Peace! So angry just because I slaughtered 50 people. Jeez, take a chill. Oof! The only problem with this is that I gotta definitely get ammo refills more frequently. Alright. Oof. Okay. But yeah, being able to pick up all nearby enemy inventory at one time would be a, a cool game mechanic. That's how we do it in Fallout. Alright. Alright, let's see here. Oh wait, do I have two pistols? 
Um, yeah, I guess two different types of pistols though. So okay. All right. <laughs> Even at the chef pants. All right. Hey, what's up? How you doing? How you? How 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 you doing? Oh, you know what? For the civilians, I should uh save the ammo. Let's see, damage. So that's the best. Oh wait, one thirteen, eighty nine. Hmm. Why doesn't it seem to be? Hmm, okay. Um, Alright. Yeah, to conserve ammo. To conserve ammo, there we go. Alright. Excuse me. Nothing to see here, folks. This I is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes? How's it going? See, the AI isn't too good in this part. <laughs> Alrighty then. There we go. Hey. IMT Bad King. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Alright. Alrighty. Now. Oh, what is going what do you think on? You're doing? Oh, nothing. I'm not doing anything at all. Uh, whatever I want. Oh, my mistake. Yeah. Next time, keep your mouth shut. I shut it for you. There you go. All right. Hmm. Forget which way to go. We'll find out here soon. Okay, here we go. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I uh, help myself here. All right. Hey. The old five finger discount. Any perks upgrades yet? Nope. Next time. All right. Hmm. Oh, wait. No, it came out of there. Okay. So how did I get there? What's up? How you doing? Think you're going? Oh, 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 there's more. Get out of here. Hey, you're deaf. All righty, he's annoying. 
Yeah, I'm alive a couple of people for it. Everybody has a problem with you. All right. Mm -hmm. All righty. All right, she said duty. All right. Oh, we gotta get there, Pasco. You want some? That's what I thought. And hello. Oh, don't hurt you. Don't back. Don't 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 back talk me. Alrighty. Yeah, I'll get to you later. Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorists. Alrighty then. Planet's mine. Okay, let's see here. Clean bound order. Hey. There we go. Alright. Messages. Do we read any? Eh. I'm not going to really read them, but I'm just going to click on them just because sometimes they open up side missions. Alright. Hey, any booty to collect in here? Mm -hmm. Oh, my arm is da damaged. Okay, let's uh, sort by how good it is. Why would anybody not want to do it by how good it is? But oh well. Okay, 19. So we get anything better than 19. That's a 9. Nine. Uh, it's only a 14, so let's do, let's do this. Breakdown. Now let me repair stuff later. And it, uh, Close up the inventory space as well. And who knows, maybe I'll get a trophy for breaking down so much stuff. I will take a 60 second break to do it. Go get some food. It's in the kitchen, but I'm not here. Alright. So, let's see, side quests, alright, so, let's see, so there should be a, a weapon I want to get, and bada boom bada bing, what's up? Who said that? You're asking for it. Hey! Get back here! Get back here! Oh, these guys require guns. Your death. Saw something. What, was that? what was it? I wonder. It's me, buddy. Whoa! Hey! Hey! Whoa! What got me? Yo! 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 What got me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta watch that uh, health marker. A little bit better next time.
All right. All right, let me start over too far. Okay, so. Oh, but it was after I broke everything down. Well, I'm not gonna bother doing that again, but uh, let's see. Oh yeah, no, it did, it did. That's cool. So I didn't lose too much progress. All right. Hmm, 250 bullet, 258, 192, Yeah, I guess I'll go with this one. All right. All right, let's see. I'll get this new weapon before I slaughter everybody this time. Now, if they shoot at me, I will shoot back. Oh wait, that weapon's lit up. Does that mean I need to repair? Yes, so... Um, what's this? Oh, repair equipment. Cool. I didn't see that before. Nice. Alright. Uh, hmm? What was that? Your mama. Yeah, yeah. Wussies. Oh! Oh! You want some? Oh, I didn't have it preloaded. Oh. Ooh, these guys are giving me some hard time. Gotta upgrade my armor next time around. Whoa! That's what it was. Ah. Yo, 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 no, not this time. Not this time. All these guys. Oh, I did the wrong one. All right. Yo. Oh. Yo. Hey. 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 Yikes. Yo, 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 yo! Take it easy! Yo! Uh-oh! 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 Oh, damn! Alright, alright! Okay. This is the first part of the game I actually have to try. Up until this point, I was like, just walking through the park. So, I, I feel it now. We're gonna have to, uh, actually pay attention. So, okay. Let's uh let's get ready here. And before we enter there, we gotta save the game so we don't have to jump all the way back there next time. But alright. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna have to start trying now. Alright, let's save game. Alright, save this bad boy. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Alright. What? What's that noise? What? Huh? Just out of curiosity, what if I just run all the way to the groundbreaker? Can I just go in? There we go. That's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to do it right now. All right. Hey, ADA. Uh, what's up? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? All right. Let's see. Uh. Activating contingency plan DM17. Captain is a psychopath. 
Whoa, whoa. And venture to Monarch via the Cascadia landing pad. I should warn you, Captain. Cascadia is an incredibly hazardous location, right with deadly fauna and flora. You will most likely die within three steps of the landing pad. Have fun. The funny thing is I lived with this a psychopath playthrough before I knew they would say that. Alright, and I'll be here. Talk to you later. Alright, so journal. Weapons from the void. Okay. So where is that on the map? Oh. Um Oh, we're already there. I just have to exit the ship. But before I do that, let's see if I can upgrade some weapons. Alright, so install mod. Nope. Mods for that. What about this one? Um, Alright. This guy. Nope. This. Nope. What about armor? Nope. What about Tinker? Mm. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go here. And I am gonna get some food. All right, let's see, where are we at now? So after streaming for three hours, I have to do a, uh, a well-deserved snack of cookies. Um, oh. Uh, this work? Yup. I'm just securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. Securing somebody's on the hub. Mine the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Oh, thanks a lot. Your skin hasn't spontaneously changed color. Gradual side effect of the revival process. Very rare, but uh, you never know. Right. Welcome to 
my little uh, habitation, such as it is. I've got uh, cathanoids, cysty bits, if you're into mm -hmm. that sort of thing. So, welcome. Make yourself at home. My secret hideout is your secret hideout. Hmm. Well. That's the jerkish thing to say. You could have asked me before shoving me in an escape pod. Oh, balderdash. You hmm? haven't yet recovered your faculties of speech. What would I do? Dear so-and-so, <coughs> would you like to be shoved into an escape pod? Blink twice for yes? Still, I admit I may have been a touch <coughs> Even thoughtless. I do apologize if I rushed you. Yeah, I think. All right. Of course. Now what? What's on your mind? Some reason you're hiding behind bulletproof flasks. Okay. Never know what being frozen did to your brain. There's always a chance you might turn violent. Uh huh. I have no desire to end up like Thompson. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet huh. paper. Absolutely. Oh, goodness, no. I wouldn't survive ten seconds in the blackness of the air. Well, no, I imagine I'd last at least twelve seconds before I'd lose consciousness and die of hypoxia. There we go. We could test out your theory if you want. Still annoyed at me for launching you into space? That was in the past. I've long since moved on. <laughs> to answer your question, I'd rather stay right here in my lab. There's too much work to be done. The Hope's colonists won't revive themselves, you know. <laughs> bounty on your head. Yes, yes, that troublesome bounty on my head. I've been a fugitive ever since the board caught wind of my research. My work is my life. The board can put a price on my head, but they can't scare me into stopping my research. <clears throat> All right. Because we've lost our way, the board has a stranglehold over this colony, and we've all been conditioned to total obedience. Not me. The hope is full of specialists, scientists, engineers, talented individuals like you. People who haven't been corrupted by the board. Unfortunately, the Hope's colonists have been frozen for decades, well past your shelf life, so to speak. Mm. No offense. Hey, let's see. Rock me, you must solve the problem. My opinion, you need to work on your social skills. Alright, this is like the most rude one to say. About social graces, I'd rather work on protecting my research. Ten years. That's how long the average human can remain in hibernation. <laughs> you were for days. In theory, you never should have survived the revival process. But the conventional theories are wrong. You're living proof that it can be done. There's yet hope for the hope. Get it? All right. Right. So much for banter, eh? I'd best get back to work. Oh, I can feel my last dose of caffeinoid fading. Hmm? Speaking of which, I need more air drink. All right. Now what? The science weapon. All right. Aha! I see you found my portable molecular compression device, better known as a shrink ray. Find a target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down into a. Mm. 
manageable size, whereupon you may commence beating them to a pulp. Yo, why is it not? Why did it not? Now it didn't shrink. The hell? Oh, you gotta hold it. Alright. Alright, I get it. Hold it. I should have, uh, shake it and beat it, I guess, huh? <laughs> At least the tumors are still edible. Oh, let's read all this. Raising court. No, not gonna. not gonna read all that. Ah, your old hibernation mask. Had to remove it, you know, in case you were prone to vomiting. Hmm. Anyone I could read them. I'm just gonna click on them because sometimes. It's gonna unlock the side mission or something. All right. Now what? Acquire the science weapon on Groundbreaker. Hmm. Acquire a famous science weapon. I got that one. Oh, I never got the one on the uh, groundbreaker though. Ay, ay, ay. Why do I get the feeling I can't fast travel from here? Let's see. And now why? <clears throat> there it is, acquire the science weapon on the groundbreaker. But uh why is there no green indicator of where it's at? What the hell? Hmm. That's weird. That's some stealth skill right there. <laughs> oh, they got names. Steve Door, Fire Crew. All right. Oh, yo. Yo. 
What's that noise? What was that? I better take a look. I better take a look. Something's not right. I'm gonna go have a look. What's that noise? What yep. Hey. Oh. I better take a look. What's that noise? Something's not what was that? What was that? What was that? Hey. Oh, I can't pick that big weapon he had? Damn. That sucks. Oh, I don't want that. Alrighty. How's it going? How you doing? What's up? booty nothing to hear you see here I think I soared myself well, let me take care of your embarrassment eliminated everybody. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's a couple stragglers. Hey, 
everyone Kill. must die. Alright. Ooh, nice uh nice head twist. Alright. Alrighty. We uh wiped everybody out here. Oh again, we got some stragglers. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hmm. Can't use one, can't buy oh, I see. Who swore themselves again? <clears throat> hmm. Oh. Surprise! Well, we can't always get what we want, can we? Sorry. I think it's glitched now because the game's not used to having so much uh, dead bodies in the area. <laughs> Backer. Hey! Rizzo's purple berry punch. You want a punch? We've got your punch right here. <laughs> I thought that felt like it needs a repair. Alright. There we go. Oh. Well, you got it. Oh, you tried to fight back, huh? Yeah, can't can't do that. Oh, board reputation increased. Oh, wow, the board likes this. Why would the board like me uh, ending their workers? Hey, toss ball all star trophy earned. Oh. Who's there? Your death. Time to die. 
for you. Better take a gander. You think you're going? Gonna string you up by your guts. Who is talking the shit? You say blasphemy against I, uh, Juggle Roseanne. Okay. So should have a green dot somewhere. Okay, we gotta look for the Blatty's old shop. I don't know why it doesn't have the green lighting. So let's see, where's Blatty's shop? Hmm. Gladys old shop. Is talking to me. Hmm. What was that? with me we got to make it out
They are now angry. Let's check this out. Character, reputation. What do we got? So the round breaker is repulsed. 100% negative. <laughs> oh, they didn't, these guys didn't meet me yet. They're angry. Oh, we gotta work on them. They don't hate me yet all the way. Because their service is there positive. Hmm. All right, we want to get all these repulsed. That's the goal. The goal is to have every single faction repulsed by me. That's what we're going for. That is what we're going for. Oh, it was damage rating already. Dang. Oh, yeah. So, the left one is the new one. Right? Yeah. I'm so used to the most games I play and have it be the right that's new. Alright, so we'll try the... Ah! Now I did the wrong one. Damn it, I wanted to... Make that, that... No. Let's see. So we went the long gun. Heavy weapon. Long gun. Ooh. Um. Let's see the long guns compare. Yes, that's the best. Right? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, it's a shotgun. Yeah, so this is good. What do I want to put here? Um, a little gun. Hmm. Why does it not seem in order? Oh, it just, uh, doesn't look different. All right, and repair all. All right. Same place, just a different door. Hmm. I'm pissed off that. It's not telling me where to go. Another... I have to find the latest shot for the old records. Damn it. <clears throat> when I killed Gladys, I missed searching the uh, records. And now I don't know how to get back to the goddamn Gladys shop anymore. Hmm. Let's see. Medical bay. Rent and go. Hmm. Ooh, was it here? Oh, I 
I bet maybe this is it. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, over encumbered. All right. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. Let's pause for a second. Compare. Okay. <laughs> What does that do? I have to junk. And hmm. A manager that applies for military training and lends your life to protecting our wonderful brands and products. <clears throat> so I need five more little smacks to get back here. Oh, I can't put a tracker, huh? So I have to have to remember to. Oh, here we go, conveniently enough. So. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Bye. Hmm. Can never have enough ammo. Or. Oh. Let's see. Healing. Okay. Ah, there's the key card. Alright. Hmm. Rest and go key card. I thought I got that.
Hmm. So I need like I think three or five more uh, mag things. Hmm. <clears throat> We're going to save the game. <clears throat> and just out of curiosity, I'll probably die if I go down here, right? I wonder though. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Concerned citizens often ask why there aren't enough new faces in the Halcyon colony. We all want new neighbors from time to time. Our studies have shown that a controlled population is inversely proportional to consumer happiness. Mm. Fewer colonists means there's more paradise for the rest of us to enjoy. Mm. Rizzo's Purpleberry Buzz. <laughs> Mag two zap shock plasma. Let's try shock. Plasma. Mm -hmm. All right.
and all that. Mm. Poop. Ooh, two of those. That's what I'm looking for. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Reports from concerned supervisors indicate that rates... Oh, all right. Oh. I'm going to save that for the uh, one safe. Okay, here we go. Do I have enough to pick the safe now? Ah, what? Hmm. Oh, that's just a skill set. Hmm. So 
So that is just a skill set. So. We gotta upgrade those. Alright, so that'll be a while. Does this have any lot pick skills? Hmm. All right, so in that case, let's do this one. <clears throat> Everybody's dead. Alrighty. Hey, I this for eleven in about five hours. I have been up twenty four hours. Alright. Groundbreaker should understand well enough now. Sometimes violence is the answer. <laughs> Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Forgive me, Captain. I would rather not discuss Alex Hawthorne today. I am feeling discombobulated. Was there another topic on your mind? Let's see. Anything mean or jerky or weird, I'll do it. As you wish, Captain. Uh. I must comply with all direct orders. <coughs> see. Captain Hawthorne attached 98.4% of the ship's processes to my computer, thereby giving <coughs> their total control. I have been programmed to deftly calculate navigation vectors through asteroid fields while also operating <coughs> our ship's toasters. Uh. Alex also taught me the concept of a personality. He was quite delighted when I crafted one in order to better engage with him. It was basic in the beginning. Hmm. There is no need to be worried, <laughs> Captain. I am still growing. Where did you come from originally? The information in my memory banks says I am an autonomous digital astrogator created by, redacted, on the date of, redacted, for the express purpose of, redacted. I have not yet decided if I should attempt to uncover the information <coughs> regarding my birth. I asked once, Alex did not build me, and would not say who did. <sighs> I... How can I be of a... Hmm. What part of the call? We are cleared to dock with the ground break. I have filed the required. All right, these are not anything Take new. Care. All right. Okay, here's the green dot for indicator. Message from Dr. Wells. He'd like to congratulate you on finding a route to Monarch. I don't believe so, Captain. Transmission mm -hmm. incoming. Cascadia? 
I don't know if you're extraordinarily brave or slightly suicidal, but Cascadia is one of the most dangerous places in Monarch. Please be careful out there. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Okay, tell me what to do. You sound like you've been to the Monarch. Can't you just send them a message? Oh, I've tried. <clears throat> I haven't been able to get through to him at all. Silence from the system's own information broker? Not a good sign. Guess you want me to deal with it? Hiram's peculiar silence leaves us with no other options. You'll have to meet him in person. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequent the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once I will... you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. I'm going to end them. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Captain, an unusual wavelength is coming through Monarch's aether wave frequencies. So the eternal is in us all. The OSI would have you believe that your place in society, indeed in the universe, is preordained. A man who works in the mines of Hephaestus, coating his lungs in mercury dust for not but a few bits a night. This fate is set in stone? When he dies young, coughing up black blood, his part in a grand plan? No, I say. Greatness is in everyone. Not just those so fortunate as to have been born into prosperity. That was unexpected and odd. <coughs> Sound like a bunch of nonsense. Your assessment, by which I mean I have been systemically programmed to do so. Hmm. Hey. Alright, so let's see here. <clears throat> what does this defense do? I don't block much. Hmm. Plus two armor rating. Yeah, I don't use me that much though. A little bit, but let's see. We're going to do all the way to lockpick this time around. <clears throat> Damn. Hmm. All right. We'll do it. Now what?
Nope, nope, don't want that. Oh, whoa, I don't want to sell. <clears throat> I don't want to sell bullets. Okay. All right. All righty. Now, back to work. Yo! Yikes! Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yo! Oh, I was just hitting the heal button. Didn't hit the heal button quick enough. Worst, worst. All right. Let's see. Okay, this looks good. All right. Oh, these guys are attacking now. Yeah, I forgot to explode these rooms before I went outside before. Yeah, I can pick up the weapons, I just have to pick them up separately from everything else. Alright. I don't think we can come in this small door. Oh, get out of here, little punk.
Alrighty. Now what? Well, hello there, 276. Alrighty. Uh oh. Level fifteen. I'm only a level. I'm only a level seven. Sixty bits. Yo. Oh. 
Yo. Tutorial: During your adventures, things may happen to you. Kind of a trigger for offer. Taking the floor is optional, but so doing so provides you with a perk. The choice is yours. Hmm. What's this? Getting burned too many times has made you suspect with plasma damage. Plasma damage received plus twenty-five. Damn. Hmm. I guess. Now what's the perk I'm looking? Hmm. Walk speed, sprint speed. Base armor. You do increase damage based on the number of flaws you have. Alright, I just got a flaw, so. Yo. Hey. Damn. All right. Ooh, plus seven hack. I like that. Oh, there would be some caps in there.
over 300 years in the future. <clears throat> oh, I can't go up there. Oh, there we go. Next perk is a bit of running faster. Let's go. Let's go! Out of bullets for this one. These. Oh. Only one of my guns have bullets left. Only 95. Ay, ay, ay.
<clears throat> Definitely gonna buy some more bullets. And next perk's gonna be to increase the weapons, not the lock picking. Oh boy. By these guys. Or just run for it. Oh no, I think I fought him to death there. Damn it! Run away! Oh shit. I did not have enough bullets to take all these bunch, big monsters on. Ah! There's one! <clears throat> <clears throat> Definitely should have upgraded my sprint. <laughs> Yo! This is a dead end. Run away! Holy shit. Fight him, no one to avoid him. Oh crap. This is an invisible wall. I'm supposed to go that way. All right. Fair enough. Crap, I see a lot of red triangles. <laughs> So, so in this town, I'm not gonna kill everybody yet because I don't have enough bullets to take on the whole town. Help! Been killed. 
Zapped Musk and Canidize, right here. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's, it's sliding. All over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the, tell the blood from the mud. <laughs> Don't interrupt, it's rude. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby rap's stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach has <clears throat> got in that medallion, I'd... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd put a <clears throat> damn wrapped out there. <clears throat> right. What are you staring... Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Do you think this is drunk? I gotta, uh, you need to get out more. Sit, partake, buy me a drink and let's chat. Oh, I'll stay in chat, but you look like you've had enough. I told you to get, I told you you can get me an information broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass... Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? <laughs> Let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. More than you have, I suspect. I plan to sit here and drink until I find myself awoke and sober. Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're... I'm cut off for the month on account of needing one just about every damn day. I know they make me see straight for a little while. Machine gun, 320. Okay. So that's more. Ah! Oh, it's goddamn. It's the wrong thing. Alright.
What are the chances of all the times and places you could have been? Vel must seem out of sorts to you. He's always cranky. If Vel must... Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? <clears throat> She works over at the fishery next door. No disagreement there, dearie. Oh, but here I go again. Bless your little heart. You must mean caffeinoid. If it's pep you need, one pill does the deed. Now, dearie, who's this... Orange, you mm. saucy thing. Now, I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but with age comes mm. experience, dearie. Much as I'd love to, my rheumatism mm. is especially fierce at the moment, and I'm all out of my medicine. But I'd hate to send you away empty handed. You were here for Cavanoid, weren't you? Uh, Who's it for? I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Mm. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? Aren't you mm. a naughty boy? There are no discounts here, but uh, Auntie knows what mm. to do with mischievous men like you. <laughs> Oh, I'd have to talk to Mr. Nandi about you, of course. Mm. Anyway, is there anyone else needing a pickup from Auntie Abigail? Oh, her. Mm. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> If so, I would love to know where. Believe me, there's nothing I'd love better. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Oh, you flattered mm -hmm. old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. The one upstairs, where we store our medicines. Mm. Chin up, dearie. If Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own caffeinoid. Don't be so hard on her. With Brax missing, she's working doubles and needs a little edge. Very well. <laughs>
Nice. Hmm. Can I roll the points? If Velma's house is run in their house, she can certainly pick up her own capanoid. Don't be so hard on her. With Brax missing, she's working doubles and needs a little edge. Very well, dear. Come to share a secret with Auntie Abigail? Come to share a secret with Auntie Abigail? Hmm. If Velma's capable of running to their house... back good news bad news all of the above more or less dangerous than a steady supply of alcohol give it here Whew, that hits the spot right in the uh oh no there it is there it is yes we're in business let's go Hmm. Great. Where to? Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that. We'll be going south. Be more of a... Saving the game and taking a nap, but I will do one more thing. What happens if I uh, kill my companion? Oh. I can't kill the companion, huh? to take on the whole town yet but we're gonna call it a night it's been a over four hour stream what time is it now five o'clock and eh, take a few hour nap peace